Hey everyone, welcome back to the South Moon. Today, we are diving into a fascinating development in military technology that's creating ripples worldwide. Iran's 358 missile, a powerful hybrid of loitering munition and UAV. This missile isn't just another addition to an arsenal, it's a game changer in modern warfare. Let's break down what makes it so unique and why defense experts are paying close attention. Back in September, we saw an interesting diplomatic and military moment. Russia's then defense minister, Sergei Shoigu, visited Tehran, where he checked out an exhibition showcasing some of Iran's latest defense technologies, organized by the IRGC, or the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. And among the display items was the 358 missile, a loitering missile with dual capabilities that's caught the attention of militaries around the world. So what is the 358 missile exactly? It's a dual purpose missile, meaning it can operate both as a loitering munition, circling above a battlefield waiting for a target, and as an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV when needed. This flexibility has made it particularly effective against drones, helicopters, and even transport aircraft. Now let's talk specs. This missile is about nine feet long, with a slender cylindrical body and three sets of fins for maneuverability. It's got a 22 pound warhead and launches with a solid fuel rocket booster. And here's something cool. After the booster burns out, it detaches and a gas turbine engine kicks in, allowing the missile to loiter in a figure eight pattern, hovering over potential targets until it's time to strike. When it comes to targeting, the 358 missile uses a combination of infrared technology and optical sensors to detect and lock onto its targets. And unlike faster, conventional anti-aircraft missiles, this one moves at a slower speed and lower altitude, allowing it to surprise enemy drones or low-flying aircraft in ways that traditional missiles can't. The 358 missile has shifted strategies, especially in the Middle East. It's providing a new layer of defense that challenges the dominance of certain Western military assets, like the male UAVs. And while it's slower than typical surface-to-air missiles, its ability to remain on standby in an area and detect high-speed jets makes it a unique threat. So that's the story of Iran's 358 missile. With its dual-use technology and ability to loiter in hostile airspace, it's definitely something that changes the equation on the battlefield. But there's still a lot we don't know about its exact capabilities or operational range, so it'll be interesting to see how this develops. What do you think? Could we see more nations developing this kind of technology? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights on the latest in global defense and tech.